Things were looking rough. It was looking rough, but like I said, the leadership that we have started from Coach T. Allen, even the players in here, um, nobody blinked the eye, nobody started pointing fingers. We just all kind of honed in, worked harder, and ended up working out. So keep most of this together, you think? And, uh, I, would, I would hope so. I mean, that's above my pay grade. Yeah. So, but, but I mean, uh, would you like to see I that? would love to. I would love to come back. I, I would love to keep the same team, but you know how the NFL is, man. It's a, you never know what's going to happen. You mentioned the leadership. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific? It had to be on a razor's edge of two and six, three and seven. And, and typically, that when I was walking into the building, I thought things were going to be tense, but it was Coach Tomlin. He was like, I'm not going to change who I am no matter we. 11 and 0 or 1 and, or 0 and 11. And um, he stuck to that. He didn't start tripping. He didn't start yelling. It didn't turn into a finger pointing match. Like we just continued business as usual and we looked up and we ended up 9 and 8. So I really give credit to that because I've been in places where it gets it gets kind of wicked when things are 3 and 7. Kind of what? <laughs> wicked. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, wicked. Very wicked. <laughs> are you more proud of 9 and 8 or more pissed off that the season's over? That's a tough that, damn, that's a tough question. Double A sword. Obviously you always want to continue and go to the playoffs. So I mean if I could have it my way and we have a magic wand, we would have handled business and we'd be talking about a bye or a wild card game. But um that's how the game goes. We ended up having a winning season. I think we can hold our head up going in the next season for whoever's here next year.